All right, another video for you guys. And this time it's not really about this setup, really, too much. It's about these batteries. My older AGMs, I'm selling, I got four left. And uh, I'll show you what I'm doing with them. Anybody want some ice cream? I know my trailer is super dirty right now, but okay. So this is my trailer. We got the ladders, everything's thrown in here. That's a coach. That's a coach toaster. We used to have a microwave, and then the guys left food in it, and it got all gross, so we threw it out. But I have three batteries in here. I have a 3,000 watt inverter and a 1,000 watt pure sine wave for charging DeWalt batteries. And I'm not going to have a solar panel as of yet. I'm going to just have a, a wall outlet. Um, so I, when we have power, I'll be charging these. And when we don't have power, I'm going to be using them. And that's going to be my setup for now. Uh, the 3000 watt inverter is not enough to start this. This. Uh, the only thing that I have inverter wise that would start this is my Antrax SW3000, which has a 6000 watt surge. And that's kind of what this takes to start. <laughs> but uh, I'll be able to run that compressor and that compressor and all my skill saws and that'll, that'll last me quite a bit so that's the plan and yeah I'll, I'll, I'll update you guys as I get this together alright so this is my setup we got here I got underneath this they'll help keep uh, dust and junk from falling on it the fan blows this way, so that will also keep dust from it a little bit. Uh, batteries are right underneath. I got two sets of uh, you won't be able to see that, will you? It's two gauge, two gauge cable going into this thing, so it should have plenty of power. Now I'm just going to hook up this 10 amp charger. This is what's going to be charging these things when. We don't have power. <coughs> I'll take that thing forever to charge it, but I mean, it's still, it's power from the site, not power from my house, so I don't care. These things are sitting at 12.8 uh, volts, and uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate what I can run after. So, there's something a little bit funky with this inverter. I bought it used. I think the input caps are no good or something because I have heavy duty enough wire. At least I think I do. Maybe I gotta beef up the inputs more, but. So, what I'm gonna try is this is the power right here, the inverter on it, is gonna act as an external power, like I was plugging in at the job site. And turn the inverter on. It is pulling 235 watts. And it's charging the batteries. The batteries are sitting at 12.7 volts. It should be going up. <coughs> then again, this is on. Let's turn this off. We'll turn the power its lights on. All right, we got 12.8 volts. I'm gonna leave it like that for a little bit. Let it charge. And then I'm gonna give this another try. We've got a thunderstorm happening out here. Yep, there's something funky with this inverter. It's weird. The saw, it's not running. But this compressor, which takes more power than that saw, it runs, which is really weird. The lights dim a little bit. Not very much, but here's what the amp meter is saying from the batteries. So that it peaks at about 180. No problem. Okay. So we're going to unplug that. <coughs> Plug the saw back in. I'm wondering maybe it's because the ground's broken. I don't know. Let's see here. Ugh. Okay, so that's plugged in. Ooh, it's starting to pour. Ah, oh, that's not cool. I don't understand. Okay. 
All right, let's try a different saw. This is a much bigger saw. This saw takes more power. This is an eight inch saw, eight and a quarter. Guys, when they pack things up, they're in a rush, and they just throw shit everywhere. All right, let's see what this one does. Coming in above me. <laughs> there we go. Very interesting. Now I'm gonna try something. Maybe these are surging just a little bit over what my cables are capable of. So I'm gonna beef those up later. But for now, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna hook up an extension cord, which will let the voltage sag a little bit, and then I'm gonna try it again. I hope you guys can hear me. It's just downpouring. We have flash flood warnings and stuff, but okay, skipping all that. I have this long extension cord hooked up to the inverter, and now I'm gonna try this again. Let's see what happens. That is weird. So through an extension cord, it kicks out for a second, but it does work. <coughs> Very interesting. Well, I'm going to leave it like this for now. Uh, at least I know it's usable through an ex extension cord, which I know I have to use. And the great thing is, is I'm actually going to have two extension cords coming off of it. So that I'll let it dip enough where it'll start this no problem. Uh, I'm starting to think that it is my input cables. I guess two two gauge wires is not enough. I guess this inverter probably needs two one aught cables or three two gauge wires, uh, or maybe just a set of uh, three aught cable. <coughs> but anyways, everything's working so far. Let's see, this is taking 220 input voltage. 13 volts right now, that is under charge of the charger. See what the charger is putting out. It says it's a 10 amp charger. Let's turn this to 40 amps. Look at that. Nine and a half amps. Okay. Awesome. Now I'm going to wait for this thunderstorm to pass so I can go inside my house. But uh, this is the new off grid or off grid when it needs to be work trailer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Still need to put that uh, pure sine wave up somewhere eventually, but this will work just fine for now. See you guys later. Hit the like button, it helps a lot.